Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, just thank you so much for the love and support. Being able to know that even though we go through some crazy stuff during these war, war, days of chaos, let me just put it that way, um, is truly grateful and is, is I'm truly grateful for being able able to know that people, so many people are relating to the situations that is occurring in my daily life. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. Also, if you uh, are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your impact, the gift, and how it impacted your life and hit you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the video has gave you good vibes or good information, you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even a fellow empath that are truly going through some things right now and need confirmation or validation toward their life path or even their soul purpose, you know, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. Thank you so much for the love and support. It's great, greatly appreciated. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today, my, um, my meditation music, I'm playing in the background is called control your dreams 528 hertz deep sleep for lucid dreaming lucid dream sleep hypnosis music and i will post that link in the description box below and today my video is about twin flame 101 current situations is helping you to become aware of uh come, become become aware in your unseen power it's so true it's like a lot of us you know we've been going through so many different phases and transitions and you know upgrades and downloads and shifts and this and this and that and it's just like sometimes we can be caught up in our day-to-day -day life and you start, you notice this big shift that happened in your life and it usually takes something that's stressful or whatever to be able to know what powers are, you know, being bestowed on you along, you know, along your path. And it's just, it's allowing you to be able to have that faith in yourself, having faith in the universe. You know, everything that we're going through has been teaching us a lesson or a blessing, whether it's a tragic situation, a stressful situation, a happy situation. You know, at times, you know, you feel like, why am I in this certain situation? You know, you, there's, like I've said in my other videos, it's like I was so happy when I was able to tell, you know, when, when the universe asked me to be in my authentic self, show your truth, allow people to see your truth that, you know, that you project out to. Um, you're doing things, but you have to be honest with yourself as well as others, especially if you're going to be helping guide them, you know, and it's just like, it was a situation, even with my mom's ex-husband, for example, you know, he's a, a pastor and it was just like, he took offense when I asked him, are you still, you know, preaching and stuff like that? He's like, what the heck you meant by that? I said, I don't know. I was just asking because it's just like everything that's unfolding to me. You know, I, I don't mock anybody's religion. You know, whatever you believe in is what you believe in. You know, I don't, you know, to each his own. I'm a spiritual person. I'm not no religious one. But it's just like, I, it was just like so many preachers that I've came across always have these little dark, you know, fantasies or, you know, and it's just like they always used to joke around about me. It's like PK kids are the most freakiest, freakiest ones. And it's like, and it's true. I have seen some of my friends that used to be pastors kids and boy, they were worse than me. And I was like, oh Lord, you know, so it's just like you, you, I can't sit up here and go, you know, I try to go to church, but it's like when I went to church, I'm not saying that every pastor is like that, but it's just like, it just so happened all the pastors that I, you know, I've, you know, known or came across almost everyone, you know, had these dark secrets. So I'm like, hold up. If you're doing all this and this and that, you can't preach nobody to nothing if you're not living in your true self. You can't preach and somebody leads somebody towards the glory land when you sit up here doing more dirt than the average sinner is. You know, you can't get mad when you when everybody sins differently. So it's just like it allowed me to see a lot of things that happen around me. Some things I don't speak on, some things I do, but it allows me to see the power in myself. You know, I can help guide people, but it's up to you on what you want to do. Everything is a free will.
So it's just like before, you know, certain conversations can come about, certain situations can happen, and it'll really have you looking at things from a, you know, a standstill, and you, you know, you have to step back, and you're like, dang, this is what this was teaching me, you know, and it lets you know how powerful you truly are, and it's just with those shifts, then this, I told uh, one of my, my soul family today, you know, and I really feel this from the bottom of my heart, you know, all of us, a lot of us are saying we feel something coming. We really, truly feel something coming. And it really is. But what the thing is, the main thing is going to be, is going to be you becoming in your power that you never were aware of that you actually have. You know, yes, there's something big coming towards us, but the things that we're feeling inside ourselves are manifesting each and every day. And it's like the more things that unfolds to you it's like the more people that you connect with you're starting to see some of them you know you know the people that you're truly connecting with you know there are some people that you are reflecting off to on the things that they need to change about themselves but there's a lot of things that you might have in common with other people that you weren't aware of yourself that you know you needed to do and it's, it's just amazing how we can be able to connect in that way and then we'll start, start seeing it. And it's just like the universe will send people towards your way and you're helping them out. And then there's things that you recognize in yourself that you weren't able to recognize just because the fact is you done came in contact with another person. And I'm just looking like, good dog, a bear. I knew there was something going on. And, you know, and I really felt good about myself. Like when I was telling y'all about these things that was holding me back, I didn't realize I was actually doing that. And it took something like that video. And I forgot to put that video in there. I forgot who it was by, what channel. But it was something that they were speaking volumes about that happened to children as they, you know, if they've been in abuse, how low they think about themselves. But it's just the fact is with us being empaths and we have been through some tragic situations and probably still, you know, dealing with them. It's going to give you empowerment to see that, you know, what no, no matter what people try to place upon you, no matter what people think about you is how you feel about yourself, how you go about your daily day, what you respond to, what you react to and what you put your energy in. That's where you get your power from, because it's just like when you put your power in unnecessary BS. That's what all you gonna manifest around you. But it's just the fact is darkness will send people like narcissists and all this stuff to put all these little different things on you. And you're like, okay, you say this about me and this is supposed to do what now? <laughs> you know, it's all about how you feel about yourself, you know, because I've had, and it's a, you know, it's a shame, but I've had people down talk me my whole life to the point where you can say something to me and it ain't even about to move no damn mountains for me. <laughs> it's just like I don't care you know I said there's so many people that can say bad things about me but there's also so many people can say good things about me and those are the ones that count even though those are those are going to be the one that gives me my power to make me do more not to prove to them but to prove to myself I'm nothing that they place on me you know what I'm saying so it's just like that's why what my situation has been occurring to me you know, me keep doing my videos, me seeing myself really going to be beyond places because it's just like, you know, I feel like certain people that you see my videos just to be nosy to see what I'm talking about. Put those little, you know, the down, the down thumb thing, because anytime I say something about coming into your blessings, I always get a thumb down and I laugh. I say, you know what? You really got to come about your way thinking you about to disrupt me. That's not going to mess with me. OK, I got one, one thumb, thumb this down but then I got 10 more that goes thumb up those are for the people you know I, I already know it affects the people that don't want me to have anything good happen in my life but I said you are my motivation for me to keep pressing on I know I got power instilled in me I know I got blessings coming regardless of what people wish across me you know even if I wasn't to even meet my family it's just the fact is when I can place some positive situations or positive blessings into somebody's life, allowing them to see things that they weren't able to see with them within themselves or have that voice that somebody else needed for them to get that jump start to say, you know what, I want to make this a domino effect. I want people to know about my situation to be able to help others along the way as well as Rosalind's doing. And that's a blessing with me. It's just like I used to tell y'all all the time. I, there's days I sat here and cried to the point I was like... <laughs> You know, that type of cry where you can't even dead, dead on there breathe, trying to understand why I had to go through the things I had to go through, 
why do I have to feel this much hatred come towards me when I know I, all I do is try to do my best? My best is never good enough. And it's fine. You know, you're doing just good. Because anytime something happens to me and people project out of hatred towards me, I always get that message from the universe. You're doing a good job. You stay on your path. Whatever you lost is about to be replaced. You know, whatever has been mistaken or altered, everything's about to be rearranged. You know, everything's being rearranged. You know, you probably had your life altered. You probably been, you know, hidden in plain sight. Your your empath gifts has probably been placed upon you and people said that was a mental illness. Or they were terrified of you just because the fact is your light shine brighter than them. You keep pressing on your power. You keep knowing yourself on so many layers and love every part of yourself. No, don't give a damn about what people say about you because it's how you val validate yourself. You, If you worrying about, oh, I don't have friends, I don't do that. I don't barely talk to anybody either. Only people I talk to is on here and I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine with that because as long as I know I have people around me on the same level as me, and they're trying to see me grow like I'm trying to see them grow. That's the only thing that's important to me. Because I feel like when you don't have friends, that means that people are not on the level you are. You probably don't drop so many friends. I don't drop so many people I've known for years. That I don't even, I'm like, you know, we, 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 were, we were all on the same level at one time. But it's just like if they're still in that 3D world or, you know, a lot of people that I went to school with and stuff like that, when they found out who my real daddy is, you know, they just kind of looked at me sideways and they felt some type of way. Hey, it's all good. You know, regardless of who my daddy is, he was still human. You know, some t people think when people are superstars or celebrities, they're, I guess, they're, they're a special type of human. And we're just the average type of human. You know, it's just weird. But... It allowed me to be able to see the people that need to be in my life and the ones that I just need to part ways with and just wish them well. But it's not going to stop my flow. It's going to allow me to empower myself, you know, even better. You know, people mock me like, oh, she by herself. They get, I, I'm, I'm good being by myself. You know, when you have to be able to love yourself, being on yourself, because you, when you're by yourself, you tend to learn more about yourself that you weren't aware of. You tend to learn things about yourself on so many different levels, so many different perceptions and layers, just like peeling back an onion. And you're finding all these different things about yourself that is going to empower you. And a lot of times you go through certain situations just to acknowledge you got what it takes to get through. You got what it takes. Whatever you're trying to strive for, you have it within yourself to get it. You know, whatever you do, when you can manifest it and you really are picturing it, you know, you're not obsessing about the past you're not obsessing about the future but you're trying to work to better your future that's what universe wants us to do you know yes they will send us signs to let us know hey these things are going to be manifest in your life you just have to find a key you know that shows you how you're going to get there it's already written that you have it you just have to go through all those mountains you know it's like my dad has that song mountains in the sea uh and I was really trying to figure out what that song was. My dad talks him. I'm like, you always act like a damn Morpheus. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I know. I talk in riddles. And it was like, basically, we make a mountain out of mohills. You know, that devil will tell you this and this and this and this is going to happen. But it's your choice. Are you going to believe that devil? Are you going to prove that devil wrong? Because he can place a mountain in front of you. And it might be just a little hill that you got to go over. And, you know, that he'll make it a, you know, make it a sea that you got to cross over. And it might end up being a puddle. It's all about how you look at things. It's all about how you, you know, things projected out to you. How are you able to, uh, you know, intercept it or whatever you want. You know, see, get the, the you know, you got to be able to read between the lines. Being able to know what is coming towards you and what are these situations trying to teach you so i hope you were able to resonate with this y'all i hope y'all had a blessed safe weekend um i know i'm relaxing i'm enjoying myself i said i have the whole weekend to, well i got today and tomorrow by myself and i'm loving the peace and quiet so i hope you're enjoying your weekend like i am but i'm gonna go ahead and give me a post notification shout out to bella Sel uh, Selberstein, I hope I pronounced your last name right. Much love to you. Welcome to the family. Our community is growing like crazy, and I'm so blessed for it to be able to do that, knowing we all can, you know, help each other along that way and being able to know we all can relate to the things that are going on. 
So like and subscribe. Drop me a line and let me know if you uh, resonate with this video. And I hope it helps you in some kind of way. Or if you needed that sign, this is the sign to tell you, hey, that's the sign. <laughs> so give me a thumbs up. Like and even share. You know, uh, drop me a line. Uh, hit that notification bell. Be true. Uh, be, what is it? Pos be, be positive. <laughs> and share your positivity with somebody else. I got stuck. Know you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing everybody, there's somebody praying for better days for you. And send out love and light and positivity. That's why I meant to say good God Almighty. I'll see y'all in my next video. Much love. Peace.